Hi, this is Tim from Latest 3DS Games, back with Ice Age 4, Continental Drift, Arctic Games. It's the final part of a very short Let's Play gameplay, and it's the last three events. And uh, we've completed the first seven. Finished on Shell Slide, we've got Scrat Cannon, and uh, this is quite Fly Scrat over an ice field challenge. and land on the trampoline targets to bounce so further and score more points. You need to use the stylus on the bottom, and you need to use the control pad. So here we go, and we are headed across the water. What are you waiting for? Go for the long shot. Okay. Okay. Oh, I need that one over there. Oh, come on, come on, come on. No, I am actually doing better than I did in the last go. Ah! Can I make it? No! So too soon. But, but I've actually made it further than I did before. So you can bounce right across the water. Clearly, better than that. So, that was actually probably my best performance out of four or five goes, so I shouldn't be too disappointed. We have got Ice Smash next. Now this is, um, this is a bit, you Smash tend to go layers of ice to reach the bottom too far. As fast as you can. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Come on then. You need to jump the snowballs and, oops. Smash the ice. Okay, like that. And you need to land in the middle. The control method's not that great. Okay, you can also get the lovely acorns as well. Okay. Come on. Great. Right. This is a bit better than I did before. Oh, missed the jump. Now this is where you lose time. In the wrong place. Oh. Quite difficult to go quickly on this. As long as you go the right way, land in the middle, you're alright. Uh -oh. And jump the uh, snowballs. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I don't think I'm going to win. Okay, I'm not quite sure how I did that. Might have done alright, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, better than last time for sure. So, um... We are on to the last event, and it's a bit of a bobsleigh event. Slip slide, you could call it bobsleigh if you wanted. You'll get the idea. Similar to slide the first event. Slide down the event. ice tunnel as fast as you can, and use the speed arrows to hit top speed. Okay. Fast, I'll be nothing but a blur. Very similar to the first one. And you can lean forward, and... You want to go as fast as you can, pick up the acorns, hit the arrows, and I've missed the acorns. Zoom, baby. Yeah, baby. And as long as you hit most of the arrows, you should come in first. I don't think I've hit any of the arrows, well, three arrows maybe. Yeah. Need that one. Oh, that one's okay. Yeah, baby. Got the edge of that one. Oh. Come on, faster, faster, faster. Zoom, baby. Oh. Not particularly fast though. Yeah, baby. So let's go try and get another arrow if I can. Well, more acorns. Yeehaw! That's better. So, baby. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Now that was a okay. So pretty short and sweet. 
And let's see where we did on that one. So we managed to win that one. And that's it for the 10 games. And um, just quickly show you the other options. And then we're going to leave it there. All right, so it showed us a pretty short game. It is, as I said previously, it's one maybe you want to pick up if um, you can find it cheaply, which you probably can. Two players, so let's just show you the modes. Two players, and uh, literally, you're going to have to pass it over to the next player. Slide down the ice tunnel as fast as you can, and use the speed arrows to hit top speed. So, this is my idea of a good time. Here we go, if I quickly show you two player, very obviously similar, whoops, to one player, but you can't actually do it online or local, and you'll get what I mean, so you're going to literally need to pass it as if it's like, you've only got one 3DS, which is a bit of a shame, they could have maybe done a um, two player mode, which was, you know, better. I suppose at least it's there, so if you've got a friend around to challenge, at least it's a bit of fun added to the, added to the game. Oh, make a bit of a mess there. Yeah, seriously, that was bad. So literally, as we try and complete this one as quickly as possible, I'm probably going about as slowly as I possibly could. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And... And you will then be able to, whoops, pass it on to the next player. So, literally, hopefully, it's going to work. Slide down the ice tunnel as fast as you can, and use the speed arrow paddle So here's, yeah, player two. So you literally can just pass it on and away you go with player two. So you get the idea and at least you can play it in two player. So I'm going to leave that one there, don't want to need to do all that again. And we're just going to have a quick look in the other options. Now I don't know if you can play as all the different characters, you might be able to unlock that if you've played it enough. We'd have to wait and see on that one. The story mode, as I said, includes lots of scenes from the film, so I've kind of missed them out because the film's out and about now and I didn't want to cause any issues. And then you've got the free play, the options. Well, there's only languages and credits, really. And tournament... Again, you can play one player and two player. So you've got free play, one player and two player, and then you can play tournament through all the events. That's basically it. There's not an awful lot in this game. But it's still, like I said, plenty of fun, especially for smaller children, maybe. And if you can get it cheap enough, it's worth a look. So that's the end of this one. And this has been Tim at Latest 3DS Games. Thanks for watching.